Hello and welcome to the section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to solve a problem with Kirchhoff's Laws uh, that's a little different than what we've done before. We have a situation where we have all of the resistors labeled, we have some currents labeled, uh, but over here we don't have a voltage source. We don't have a source that looks like anything we've seen up till now. Uh, this is what we call a current source, right? And so I'm kind of introducing some new components, some new topics as we kind of go along through our examples here. Uh, if you see a round bubble uh, as a source with an arrow inside, it means it's a current source. Now let me take a minute to explain to you what that means. It's not, it's not a magical thing. It's really not that different. Basically what it means is, if it, let me put that on the back burner. If you have a voltage source, it's kind of like a battery. It means that if it's 12 volts, then, you're, then no matter what, you're guaranteed to get 12 volts and only 12 volts out of that battery. And so it's the voltage, the potential difference between the terminals is what's sort of specified. And the, res the rest of what happens in the circuit is totally going to be dependent on that potential difference, the 12 volts or whatever across the battery. Right? A current source is really not something you'll, you'll see too much, but you'll see it in some laboratory components. If, if Maybe I don't even care what voltage is over here. But all I know is that whatever I hook up over here, I want to make sure I get one and a half amps out of that source. Right? So what happens is I dial the dial to 1.5 amps, and then I hook my circuit, and then this little doodad inside here, the, the power supply basically, it will adjust the internal voltage that's pushing everything out and to guarantee that I've got 1.5, 1.5 amps flowing out of that thing. So it's, it's really a little bit different than a voltage source in the sense that I'm guaranteeing that the circuit's going to get 1.5 amps out. Uh, depending on what I connect. You know, when, if you replace this with a voltage source, then whatever I hook over here is going to give me different amounts of current delivered by, by the source. Like if I have 10 amps over, uh, 10 volts over here, right? And then I hook, you know, different resistor networks over here with different resistor values, then the value of those resistor is going to dictate how much current is coming out of that voltage source, right? Because V is equal to IR when you think about it. So if you have 12 volts over here and you have a high resistor network and then I build the, the, the circuit again and I have the same voltage source and put a very low resistor over there then the current the voltage source will deliver different amounts of current to the, to, to the circuit depending on what I hook up to it so again if I have 1 million ohms not gonna get much current out of that out of that battery if I have 1 ohm I'm gonna have a lot of current delivered by that battery because I is equal to V over R it's the voltage source divided by the resistance that's what that's what governs what current's gonna come out of that source all right? But here, maybe I'm in a laboratory environment. Maybe I don't want to build the circuit that way. Maybe I want to make it such that no matter what I connect over here, it will automatically adjust itself to give me one and a half amps. Maybe my experiment depends on having exactly one and a half amps. Or maybe the circuit I'm building for some reason, some transmitter, it has to have one and a half amps, no matter what is connected in the load over here. So really what you have inside here is a voltage source that can adjust itself, basically there is still a voltage drop across it. That's why it's labeled actually right here V sub G. I could label it VS. This is just the way the problem is given. So uh, the source voltage, there's still a voltage here. This VG can, can change basically depending on what's connected over here in order to guarantee that you have one and a half amps coming out of the circuit. So think of it as a black box. Think of a current source as a black box that there's a little knob inside that's automatically being adjusted and it's going to change the voltage across the terminals automatically and it has a little measurement device in there to detect how much current is flowing out of itself, right? So if I erase all of this and hook a different resistor up, it will adjust itself to give me one and a half amps. If I take